coverage of the John Deere Classic. This is Stricker on eight, second shot from 136. It's just a laser beam going right at the flag stick. He's making this game look easy. Looks like a video game right now. All right, matching each other shot for shot. Here's Goidos on eight, his birdie. He channeled a little bit of the magic he had with the putter on Thursday when he put that 59 on the board. Yeah, he was the magic man that day, but uh, on this day, it was Stricker. Here he is on 10, the par 5. Yep, this is a three-shot or very long par 5. Turns it into a uh, four-shotter. He would make that for birdie. Very well played right there. Gets to 20 under, a two-shot lead. He was putting the hammer down. Look at this shot on 11 from 170. Play now that first cut, sometimes it's hard to control the distance. Uh, I think he handled it very well, though. A very nicely, three-shot lead for Stricker at that point. Was he done? Oh, no. This is the par 3, 12. From 31 feet, the putter working. Absolutely, it's working. This looks like a rat running in a hole. The lead is four. Par 4, 14th hole. This is from 39 yards, drove it to that point. Yeah, this is a hole that's uh, drivable. He wasn't in position A, but he carved out a little bit of something for himself. Yeah, well played the there. The birdie's going to work. The lead is five. On the 15th hole, par four, this from 22 feet, nine inches. One of the toughest holes on the golf course. Looking pretty easy for Steve Stricker, though. If you're counting Stricker's birdies, the number is now eight. Now the par five, 17, third shot from the greenside bunker. Well, this was a very awkward length bunker shot, and uh, just like everything this week, Steve Stricker made that look easy. So nine birdies for Stricker. Here he is, this third shot now after he, after he got out of position. This is third on the 18th. Drove it poorly here, wisely laid up, a very good yardage. Just to within 10 inches of the hole. Nice way to finish the round for Steve Stricker. To finish a round of 62 for Steve Stricker. He is six shots clear of the field. It's the same lead that he had earlier this year at the Northern Trust Open. Oh, yeah, he won that one. Boydos with a 67 on the day. Jeff Maggard shot a 63. So did Sean McKeel, who's continuing to put up good results despite not having full status on the tour. And we look now at Steve Stricker's record. He has now shot the lowest first 54 holes in PGA Tour history. One shot better than Tommy Armour the third the year he went on to set the 54 hole or the 72 hole record uh, on the PGA Tour. An amazing streak for Stricker. Yeah, it really is an unbelievable score. 188 strokes over three rounds. All you can say is wow. All right, well, let's say a little bit more about that then. What makes Stricker a guy that we consider as being a very steady player? one of the guys that is able to put up these record rounds. He's been electric, particularly in the last two years. Well, a lot of very good players uh, over the history of the game haven't been comfortable putting up these low numbers. Steve Stricker has proven time and time again that he's very comfortable doing it. And, and Scott, I, I think it has a lot to do with, with just absolutely staying in the present. You, you can't let what's happened in the past affect what you're doing right now. It's something that sounds very simple, but, but it's really not. I think a lot of it for Steve Stricker is working very well with his caddy, Jimmy Johnson. I mean, Jimmy Johnson does a great job of getting Steve to focus on what's going on right now, not focusing on the scorecard. And, and you know, Steve Stricker is in the zone when this is going going on, and, and other athletes experience the same sort of thing. Quarterbacks talk about the game slowing down. All, all of a sudden, they can, they can see the route uh, that the receivers are running. They know how much time they have. Hitters in baseball talk about the ball slows down. They can see the rotation of the ball. I mean, these are things that happen in other sports, and it's going on right now for Steve Stricker. I can tell you that hole looks really big for him right now. Breathing is easy, and he's light on his feet. Well, let's see how easily it is for Steve Stricker. He is now with our Mike Ritz in Silvis, Illinois, at the TPC Deer Run, and he joins us now with Mike Ritz. Guys? Scott, thanks very much. Steve, uh, tremendous, tremendous golf. Uh, 25 under par ties the uh, two four hole record uh, in relation to par on the PGA Tour. You're shattering the records here. What is going on? I have no idea. I'm just trying to stay out of my own way, to tell you the truth. And, uh, you know, there's so many birdie opportunities out here um, that I keep feeling like I better try to keep making them, you know, and, and you never know who's going to make a big run from behind. Uh, I never feel or felt today comfortable even with a couple shot lead or whatever. I felt like I needed to go out there and get some more because um, you know, you, you just never know. Guys can go low here and, and we've proven that this week. So I'm kind of cautious of that. Um, so I kind of continue to try to keep my foot 
down and, and moving forward. Well, you, you've birdied exactly half the holes. So that's 27 birdies in 54 holes. I mean, are you even aware of what's going on out there, or are you just so focused, and, and that's why it's happening? Yeah, I am very focused. I, I'm not even paying attention to uh, how many under I am in a given round or anything, and I'm, I'm just trying to hit each shot as it comes and, and give myself a, a look at it because I feel like I'm putting very well. And um, so I just, you know, that's my focus, is get in, in the fairway and, and give myself a good look at it onto the green, and, and I feel really good over the ball when I'm putting it. Okay, you've got a six-shot lead. Heading into the final round, you had a six-shot lead at Riviera. You ended up winning by two. Riviera doesn't give up the kind of scores that TPC Deer Run gives up. So what do you do tomorrow? Well, you're right. Um, a six-shot lead here compared to Riviera, I think, is a little bit different. And, um, you know, like I say, guys can get off to a hot start. Um, we were looking at the board. You know, there's two guys at 19, and then I think it goes back to 16. So, you know, I, I still, my focus is to take care of myself. You know, I, I keep drumming that into my head while I'm out there. and and just stay focused and, and do what you know, I know I can do and, and continue to move forward and not really look, uh, if I have to, look behind me. Well, great plan, man. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time. Congratulations through three rounds. Yeah. And, uh...